Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Jeep Grand Cherokee can take it to some really cool places, whether it be bike riding or even towing a U-Haul trailer. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right guys, this is a really simple install. To get started, our first step would be to remove the spare tire. Now our Grand Cherokee model does not have the spare tire underneath the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. So on both sides of the frame rail, there are two bolts on the side. We're gonna go ahead and remove that on the driver's side and on the passenger side, and this is where our hitch will line up. All right, to take out those four bolts, we're gonna go ahead and use our impact drill and a 21 millimeter swivel socket. When you bring it into place, you can see that the trunk is a little slanted. So using the swivel socket will give us a little bit of room to take that out. All right, our next step is to raise our hitch into position. We're gonna go ahead and line up the two holes on the side of the hitch with the two holes that we exposed by removing the bolts in the frame. And we're gonna use our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to raise that up. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands so you don't cause any damage to yourself or the vehicle or even to the hitch if you accidentally drop it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we have our holes lined up, we're gonna go ahead and use our existing hardware and starting on the driver's side, we'll secure our hitch to the frame. And we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. With our bolts loosely into place, we went ahead and removed our hitch jack. And now using our 21 millimeter swivel socket, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up and then torque it according to the manufacturer's specification. And then we'll go ahead and use our torque wrench and 21 millimeter socket to torque it down. All right guys, with our hitch into place, we went ahead and pulled it down on level ground to show you a couple of measurements for your hitch accessories. This hitch is a two inch receiver. And from the pinhole to the end of the bumper, is three inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 14 and three quarter inches. That way you know what height ball mount you'll need or what type of vertical post will, will work best for a bike rack. All right guys, so that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. For more information on this product, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.